Welcome back to another news video. Today we got a bunch of cool art to talk about, new release, and some other stuff. Let's get into the video. Welcome back. So, let's start off first things first. The probably most interesting news we'll see today is that Antism, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, maybe I am. Uh, if I am, correct me in the comments down below. Um, his plague set, his plague night set that he's been working on for quite a while is going to be in the game next week. So if you haven't seen the set already, here it is. It's got the cape, the helmet, the armor itself, with which looks amazing. The female and male version right there. And some more helmets and a scythe. So that's the set right there. Looks very nice. And that will be in the game next week. Here's the official post from Elena uh, confirming that it will be in the game the sloth release next week and when someone asks what it would be like farmable maybe i said i'd love it for it to be farmable the more difficult the better so yeah it i think it was confirmed to be farmable 100 percent confirmed so that will be in the game next week maybe as a boss drop maybe as something else a merge item or something um antism has been making art for a while uh here's a blade or two blades that he made a really sick looking like cyber red phoenix blade and a really nice looking katana also so those are some blades he's made in the past they're not in the game or anything but you can see that the kind of art he makes is really nice uh, and here's a blade he made for the plague set that not confirmed coming to the game looks very nice it was the shading and all that their green outline and not next week but this week uh, we have a brand new set coming out from xros very nice looking golden and white set apparently there's seven helmets for this set which i guess there's like a few different like face masks and stuff for the helmets which is kind of crazy but yeah there will also be a color custom version of this as we see from this gif a very nice looking color i'm gonna definitely pick this up it looks very nice uh which is called the dark version because i guess when you're gold and white i mean a lot of colors are darker than that so J6 with the uh, background art. Yeah, if you don't know, J6 is most of the background art. And this is the art for tomorrow's release. Very nice looking. Uh, also with tomorrow's release, we'll get Snooze McDuck. Because I guess we're dealing with a uh, dragon of greed. And uh, yes, DuckTales. Woohoo. <laughs> uh, love me some DuckTales. There will be puzzles in tomorrow's release. If you haven't seen this post already. Not a big fan of puzzles, but you know, some types are good. Here is the full design notes post. Uh, each set has one armor, seven helmets, three weapons, and one cape. Uh, that's referring to both the dark and the uh, farmable version, which that one I think is going to be a boss drop or something like that. Uh, the gold version, and this one is AC's, the one in the front. So, very cool. And I can't wait to see all seven of those helmets. It's quite a few helmets. Along with a miniature uh, gore gold pet and a golden ore elemental pet. So there's going to be three different pets. This one's AC rare. We should probably have to buy the Scrooge McDuck pet for a few ACs. That's all the news we have for this week. I uh, went through it pretty quickly. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to make like a 10 minute video or anything. Um, Flash is confirmed to be... Uh, stopping the development adobe stopping the development for flash player in 2020 i think so this post kind of confirms that they're going to start moving over a lot of their games all their older games to webgl so you can look forward to that in the future if you want to play any of the older Arctic entertainment games after adventure quest worlds is done porting over uh they're going to continue to port over the other ones at least that's what the post uh kind of says and if you're a fan of adventure quest 3d a pretty huge progress on the AQ3D bank. 24 new quests and half a dozen new cutscenes. That's half a dozen, six cutscenes for the new quests for the bank. That's pretty nuts. So that is all the news we have for this week, guys. If you enjoy these kind of videos, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow on the stream. So uh, see you guys then, and have a good one. Peace.